Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. Today is Sunday and happy Sunday to you all. In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest updates concerning Ganyan and Black Star players. Now, before we jump into that, I want to give shout outs to those who have been supporting the channel. So guys, if your name is on the shout out list, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Please continue to support the channel. But then if your name is not here, don't worry, don't be offended. Comment under this video and I'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out list. We do live here on Sports Panagia. So quickly, let's jump into it. And I'd like to begin with Inaki Williams. Now, Inaki Williams reached a huge milestone yesterday playing for Athletic Club against Osasuna. He scored a goal in that game, marking his 100th goal for Athletic Club. And that is huge. Now, that game ended in a 2 3 draw. And not only that, Inaki Williams is on fine form, getting to the close of the season in the Spanish La Liga. Do you know that he has scored three goals? In the last two games for Athletic Club. That is huge. And I believe that the fact that he is having his goal scoring form back, getting to the close of the season, it would help the Black Stars because in June, we are playing World Cup qualifiers. And we all know how important the World Cup is to the Black Stars. So I believe that Enak Williams scoring goals now is just very important to boost his morale, to give him that confidence that when it comes to the Black Stars, he can perform exactly like that. Now, I want to give you a breakdown of the 100 goals Inaki William has scored for Athletic Club. Now, he has scored 76 goals in the La Liga, 16 goals in the Copa de Rey, 7 goals in the Europa League, and also 1 goal in the Super Copa. So, if you combine all those, that would make 100 goals for Athletic Club. And that is a huge milestone for Inaki Williams. And let's not forget, he helped Athletic Club clinch their house on the Copa de Rey Trophy. That is huge, huge. If you go to Athletic Club right now, he is a legend. Everybody respects and loves Inaki Williams and also his brother. But guys, Inaki Williams reaching that huge milestone is what we are talking about. 100 goal for Athletic Club. And I believe that, see, that will boost his confidence even for that to come into the Black Stars and score more goals for us. So guys, that is the latest update on Inak Williams. Now, let's move away from that and talk about Tariq Lamte. Tariq Lamte. Now, Tariq Lamte got injured some time ago and we we're all complaining that he's getting injured too much. But then luckily for us, Tariq Lamte made an injury return for Brighton and Hobart Girl as they played against Newcastle United. That game ended in a 1-1 draw. Tariq Lamte came into the game in the 40th minute to replace Joel Veltman. Now, in that game, Tariq Lamte played his part. At the end of the day, the game ended in a 1-1 draw. But then what I'm excited about is the fact that Tariq Lamte is back. He was rated 6.8 by Sofa score. Now, the good news is that because Black Stars are going to play the World Cup 2026, qualifiers next month it just gives us a boost that Tariq Lamte is coming back because this player I believe can really really help us get to the next level it is this player that returns back from injury and then Brighton the whole album are so confident enough to bring them into a game unlike other players when they return back from injury they need to adapt to wait for some no 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 not Tariq Lamte Tariq Lamte is a huge part of Brighton the whole album and then a, a key player for them and I believe he's also a key player for the Black Stars because this player can play numerous positions. Now, he can play as a right back and as a right wing back. Same for left. We have seen him multiple times play as a left wing back and also as a left uh, left back. So, I just believe he's so talented to the extent that getting him into the Black Star squad for the World Cup qualifiers would be a huge boost, not only for the coaches, but also for Ghana and the possibility of us beating Mali in the game we are going to play in June. So guys, the latest update is Tariq Lante has returned back from injury and that is good news and that is shooting to the ears of all Ghanaians. Now, let's move away from him and talk about Abdul Fatal Ishahaku. Now, the good news is that Abdul Fatal Ishahaku has been named April 2024 African Athlete of the Month by African Sports Ventures Group. Now, you all know how um, uh, Abdul Fatah Ishahaku has been phenomenal playing in the championship for the first time with Leicester City. He did well, you know, contributing a lot of assists and also goals for Leicester City to help them, you know, get promoted to the English Premier League. Now, his loan move is going to be made a permanent one where he's going to join Leicester City in the English Premier League. And we all love Abdul Fatah Ishahaku. But currently, if you are looking for a Ghanaian or a black star player who is on top, top form, for their club side, you can leave Abdul Fatah Ishahaku because currently the player has proven on all stages that he can perform. 
And I believe that with the right environment, you can get the best after of the Fatah Isha Arab. So him getting this award or being named April 2024, Africa Amulet of the Month, I'm not even surprised. I believe he deserves this. And I'm just happy when Ghanaian or Black Star players get accolades like this because I believe we have talented players and also, you know, players who can take the national team to the next level. I just believe that we just need to do our things right and then we'll get the best out of each and every player. But then Abdul Fatah Ishahafu is a living proof that we have talents here in Ghana and if the right leadership and the right things are done, the foundation is right, most of these players will turn out good. So guys, that is the latest update concerning Abdul Fatal Ishahab. Now, let's move away from that. And I want to talk to you about an English-born Ghanaian player. Yes, an English-born Ghanaian player who currently plays for Bonwat and his name is Daniel Edu Eji. Daniel Edu Eji. See, I want to do a compressive, you know, uh, breakdown on who this player is and tell you about his background. But then the reason why I'm bringing this player up is that he's just 18 years of age and he was named Bonmot Academy Player of the Year. Daniel Eduje was named Bonmot Academy Player of the Year. Now, he's 18 years and he joined Bonmot from Fulham in 2021. Now, since 2021 joining Bonmot Academy, he has scored 26 goals in the youth league. 26 goals in the youth league. Now, he signed his professional contract not too long ago. He's yet to play in the senior team. But then getting this accolade, I believe that it's just I know, a matter of time where he's going to you know, get some game minutes with the senior team. But then he's doing so, so well. Now, he has gone on loan in the team such as uh, Pool Town and also uh, Luton uh, Orange. Those are you no know, small clubs in England. He has played as you know, you know, in those teams. And currently, being named one more academy player of the year, it just shows you how good this player is. A forward is a striker. He scores a lot of goals. And I believe that he's one player that, you know, the GFA need to start putting their eyes. There. We shouldn't wait until the player blows up. I believe that this will be the right time to start talking to the player and then try to have a conversation with him before he blows up. That would be the right thing to do. Now, lastly, let's talk about Augustin Boache. Augustin Boache, he plays for Wolves Berger FC in the Austrian League. Now, Augustin Boache is one player, one midfielder, I believe has not really been con conceded for the Black Stars because this player is very, very good. He scores goals. And currently, they're in a renegation play of and currently Wolves Berger FC are topping that table. Now, Augustin Boache has scored a goal like in the last two games Wolves Berger has played. Augustin Boache has scored, you know, going in all those two games. And he's getting, you know, the attention. People are now asking, who is this Augustin Boache now is banging in goals left, right, front, center like this. And midfield. And now, so far, he has played 25 matches for Wolves Berger FC. In, in the Austrian League, he has given six assists and also scored eight goals in the process. So definitely, his goal contribution is in double figures. And this is huge. This is good news for a midfielder who is helping his team get out of the relegation zone. So currently, they're in a relegation playoff. And we hope that all things thank good for Augustin Watching. He's one player that I believe the GFA needs to have a conversation with. That I mean, when there's an opportunity to bring in young players into the Black Stars, I believe this player cannot be left out. He should be considered for a spot in the Black Stars. But guys, this is the latest update I have for you concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. On the NAC, Williams, Tariq Lamte, Fatal Abdul Ishahaku, and also Daniel Edu EJ, the English-born Ghanaian player who won Bonwas Academy Player of the Year, amongst many others. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie. We go by.